This world goes around in a cycle while we are all participants while riding this cycle. On this ride, we see some amazing things, some good and some bad. Come with me as we explore the B-Cyclopedia where I look at the spokes who made those B movies. Beverly Lucy Garland was an American actress. Her work in feature films primarily consisted of a small parts in a few major productions or leads in low budget action or science fiction movies on television. She had a prominent recurring roles on several popular series. She may be re she may be best remembered as Barbara Harper Douglas, the woman who married widower Steve Douglas, Fred McMurray in the latter years of the sitcom of My Three Sons. She played in that role from 1969 until the series concluded in 1972. In the 1980s, she co-starred as Donnie West, the mother of Kate Jackson's character in the CBS television series Scarecrow and Mrs. King. She had a recurring role as Ginger Jackson on Seventh Heaven in 1957 through 1958. She starred in the TV crime drama Decoy, which ran for 39 episodes. Beverly Lucy was born on October 17, 1926 in Santa Cruz, California, the daughter of Amelia Rose, a businesswoman, and James Atkins, a singer and salesman. Garland grew up in Glendale, California. She was a drama student of Anita Arles. She was a student at Glendale City College and she honed her acting skills in summer stock theater. In the 1950s, many of her roles were of secure, tough women who could handle themselves in violent situations. Such Roe was a secret keeping secretary in the classic film noir DOA. She was credited as Beverly Campbell. In 1956, she played a female marshal and the western gunslinger with Chris Alcade as her deputy. A prison escapee in Swamp Diamonds and a scientist's wife who battles an alien in It Conquered the World. All three films were directed by Roger Corman and were parodied in the 1990s by Mystery Science Theater 3000. She gained some cult status for playing tough hard women in pictures like Alligator People and like Gunslinger, It Conquered the World and Naked Paradise. I never considered myself very much of a passive kind of actress, she said in 1985 interview with Fangor magazine. I was never comfortable in love scenes, never comfortable playing a sweet, lovable lady. Garland married actor Richard Garland in 1951. Although they divorced two years later, she continued to use his last name professionally. In 1960, she married Fillmore Crank, a real estate developer, and the couple built a mission-style hotel in North Hollywood, now called Beverly Garland's Holiday Inn. Mr. Crank died in 1999, but Miss Garland remained involved in running the hotel. She served on the boards of California Tourism Corporation and the Greater Los Angeles Visitors and Convention Bureau. On December 5th of 2008, Garland died from natural causes at her home of over 40 years in the Hollywood Hills after a lengthy illness. Several hundred people attended a memorial service and reception on December 13th at her namesake hotel property. Her body was cremated. She was survived by a son, a daughter, and two grandchildren. And she will be mostly remembered to me as the tough girl in all those films in the 50s from Roger Corman. And I want to thank you for watching, subscribing, and sharing right here on the Coconut Daddy channel. Who's your daddy? <laughs>